Well, good morning, everybody. I am Big Chuck, and we are now going to put somebody in our sports spotlight. And, of course, you never know what sport it's going to be. We've done everything from football to basketball to figure skating to swimming, Olympic sports, horse racing. This morning, we go to the world of baseball, and in our sports spotlight, Roger Craig. Roger Craig. Let's find out a little. That name sounds real familiar to me. I think he was one of my old baseball cards. Roger Craig, during a 12-year playing career, Roger Craig won 10 or more games in 1956, 57, and 1962. He was the master at the split-finger fastball. Roger Craig started his career with the Brooklyn Dodgers and closed out his career with the Philadelphia Phillies. Roger Craig was the starting pitcher for the L.A. Dodgers in Game 1 of the 1959 World Series, a series in which he also started Game 4. Roger Craig was also the starting pitcher for one game apiece in the 55 World Series. He pitched in 56 World Series with the Brooklyn Dodgers. He pitched in two World Series games for the St. Louis Cardinals. This guy was all over the World Series. How about that? Uh, let's see here. Roger Craig's is uh, best known after that as being a player for the original Woebegone 1962 New York Mets. All right. And uh, he also lost, as a pitcher, he lost the first game in New York Mets history, 11-4 to in St. Louis. Uh, he also had a balk that in, in the very first inning of the very first game of the very first year of the New York Mets. He was a stalwart of the legendary bad team's pitching staff. He finished 10 wins and 24 losses. Next year, 5 wins and 22 losses in those first two murderous seasons that tried the patience of the staff, the players, the management, and, of course, the fans. Don't forget the Mets lost 120 games in 1962. The next year, in 1963, pitcher Roger Craig suffered through a devastating personal 18-game losing streak as a pitcher, and remarkably, during those two seasons, he pitched 27 complete games and won only 15, demonstrating that he was one of the best pitchers on the staff, but he had no support from the bench. During the 62 and 63 seasons when Roger Craig lost 24 and 22 games, remember the New York Mets were not playing at Shea Stadium. They were playing in the antiquated old giant vast polo ground stadium while Shea Stadium was being built. Roger Craig, he went on to be a manager, and uh, you know what? He is still, if you're a Met, you still like the name Roger Craig, and he is still around. As a player, he played for Brooklyn and the Mets, the Cardinals, the Reds, and the Phillies. He managed the Padres, he managed the Giants, and he wears four World Series rings for 55, 59, 64, and 84 for pitching and for manager. Roger Craig, the pitcher who lost the first game ever for the New York Mets, and he's still around on his next birthday. Roger Craig will be 87 years old old and that's our look back at sports and our sports spotlight for you this morning i am big chuck good morning friends
everybody, and welcome to the Morning Marathon. I am Big Chuck. You're listening to WCHN in Norwich, WDOS in Oneonta, and WDLA AM in Walton. And that was, of course, the Jackson 5, and you never can say goodbye. Also, we had Roger Craig. I do remember him. I do remember him. I do, I do, I do. As a, as a baseball card uh, from when I was collecting baseball cards as a kid in the late 50s and the early 60s. And boy, you forget, those, those early years, 62 and 63, really tried the patience of the New York Met fans, didn't they? And of course, there was a lot of New York Met fans, and they wanted it to work, and they wanted to have a team. And I've said this before, uh, my mom is from Brooklyn, New York. My mom lived about five blocks away from Ebbets Field, and her dad, back in the 30s, uh, would walk the children, her, my mother and her sisters, down to Ebbets Field for a ball game. And they loved their Brooklyn Dodgers, dem bums. They loved them. And when the Brooklyn Dodgers left to go to the West Coast at the late 50s, the, they did not take a lot of fans with them. They did not. A lot of Brooklyn people felt that they had been slapped in the face, and they, they would never be a Yankee fan. That goes without saying. And they were just desperate for somebody to root for. And so when the Mets came along, a lot of the ex-Brooklyn Dodger fans really, really wanted to love them and cheer them on. But, oh, those two years certainly did try their patience. There is no question about that. And they had to wait until 1969 for a World Series. I am Big Chuck. Good morning, everybody. Uh, stay with me, gang. Well, we'll be right back. Start your better banking experience today. Start it with Bank of Cooperstown. Personalized service and the comfort knowing your deposits stay right here at home. We're committed to help grow your wealth and our region. We're invested in your success and our community. What starts here stays here. Discover the difference. Open a checking or savings account with Bank of Cooperstown. Visit bankofcooperstown.com or stop in our Cooperstown or Oneonta branch today. Before you take another step, there's something you should know about the years ahead and how they'll be. You'll be living in a world where roses hardly end. Cause all I have to offer you is me There'll be no mansions waiting on the hills With crystal chandeliers And there'll be no fancy clothes for you to wear Everything I have is standing here in front of you to see. All I have to offer you is me. Sweetheart, I give you all my love. In every way I can But make sure that's what you want While you're still free The only goal I have for you Is in this wedding band Cause all I have to offer you is me There'll be no mansions waiting on the hills With crystal chandeliers And there'll be no fire 